There's another secret cutscene that we need to look at in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. And that cutscene, we've done a lot of cutscenes so far. If you haven't seen them, guys, you need to check out these different videos. In this one, we're going to be looking at a Sonya cutscene and how you unlock it and how you, how you sort it out how you set it up. So let's go right into the game here. It's pretty straightforward guys and it also touches on another guide. When you're in the game you want to go to a certain place and do something first. You want to gonna, you're going to want to have completed Sonya's story to the point where she goes back to Wedgehurst. And now if you haven't done this part make sure you have the three Pokemon you catch from her side quests which are these three the Swords of Justice in your party. And we're gonna go and get Keldeo. That's right. Now, if you haven't seen the guides for that, I think everybody's seen the guides for that so far. If you haven't, go to Dyna Tree Hill. And we're gonna go down and just watch where I go. We're gonna go on our bike and we're gonna cycle around down here into the water, just down here and in the island. Now, there's some special footprints. You guys know the footprint side quest if you've gotten this far already. There's some special footprints in here and around this entire area, not just on this little island over here, but I'll show you what those are now in a second. Let's just get over here quick. And over here, guys, you're gonna see a little pot by the tree, but also you're gonna see some orange footprints here. These are one set of footprints of about maybe 10 to 15 that are located all around this little area around here, around half of this island. Well, with this pot, guys, you just need to make a camp. We're gonna go ahead and set Pokemon Camp and we're gonna cook a curry. This is going to make Keldeo spawn. So let's get started with the curry real quick and uh, just show you what I'm talking about here. So cooking, just do it. It doesn't matter what it is. You can just put in one berry, one ingredient, anything will do, it does not matter. And that's it, we're, we're ready. I think I'm gonna go f confirm that. I think you have to have one berry, okay. Now we're ready. So one ingredient, one berry, and you can start cooking. And it can be terrible if you want, it doesn't matter. Keldeo will spawn after you leave your camp when you're finished making the curry. So let's get to that point now in a second. Now make sure to cut out and put your heart into the curry. That's the most important ingredient. Otherwise Keldeo won't be attracted to it. Okay, we're done. We've made the curry. Everybody's happy, including my shiny Zacian. Yes, guys, it's not, it, it is shiny locked. It doesn't matter, I got it through a home trade from generous people on my Discord. If you guys wanna get access to stuff like that, you can as well if you join the Discord, link is down below. And while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe too? Because we give giveaways, we do all sorts of cool things that you guys will totally be, ooh, we did a new one, we did a new one. It's a, it's a silver, it's a wall of it class. That's cool, I didn't even try, I did one, one ingredient. Interesting. All right, so once you've done that guys, leave your camp, all right, leave it. And then your Keldeo will appear outside. There's our Keldeo spawned right like that. And no, you cannot shiny hunt this, just FYI. We're just gonna go ahead and catch it real quick because we're gonna add it to our team. Uh, it's not, it's shiny locked. So you just can't, you just can't get it. You're just gonna go ahead and catch it however you want because it is a Keldeo still catchable in the game. So that is pretty cool. I, I'm going to use a Master Ball just to save some time. So let's get the X out here and let's go to Master Balls. Where are those? All right, there's my Master Balls. Let's go ahead and catch it right now. Okay, so once you've caught your Keldeo, it's gonna be in your party. Make sure it is in your party. Leave it in your party. And we're actually gonna go travel back to Wedgehurst where where our old, our loved, beloved Sonya has gone home to. And she's in her lab and you can talk to her before you catch the Keldeo, but she doesn't say anything of much importance or much interest. But we're gonna go talk to her now after we've caught the Keldeo, which is the fourth, I suppose, hidden chain, link in the chain that she never really mentioned or, or so, and there's special footprints about, so you can't get rid of the footprints, just keep in mind. They're always gonna be there, but let's talk to her with a Keldeo and let's see what happens. It's a special cutscene, what? There was a fourth legendary Pokemon after Cobaloin, Terrakian, and Verizian? Ugh, if only I'd stuck it out a bit longer out there. Wow, bow, woof. <laughs> well, bang up job has always been it. Thanks for the report. Okay, so it's a small thing to be sure, nothing too huge or anything, not like the previous cutscenes, but it's something, and it might help unlock a next phase in, you know, the exploring for Victini. Now, people theorize Victini is not encounterable, but we don't really know for sure yet. Heading up to the back to the Crown Thunder, I'm writing up my findings now, but there's so much left to cover, I hardly know to start. That's usually what she says. Thanks for the hands back in Crown Thunder, yeah. So that's usually what she says when you didn't do it with Keldeo, but we have Keldeo and we got his footprints now, and uh, 
we, we got the cutscene with Sonya. So now I guess it's up to you guys to finish everything else, that there might be any other hidden secrets and anything else that is in the game to see if we can find the elusive Victini. That's it for the Sonya cutscene guys, uh, what did you make of that? I mean it's a little it's a little something, but that is how you unlock it and you guys should all be able to do it as well once you've completed the side quest. Thank you for watching this, I know it's a short video, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I hope you guys go enjoy your own cutscenes. I'll see you guys around, don't forget to subscribe and watch these videos right here. I'll see you guys around for the next video, till then, bye!